Hello everyone. My name is Siyavash Khodadadeh and I'm going to present automatic object recoloring using adversarial learning um, for WACV 2021. The goal of this paper is to recolor an object within an image with just one comment of the type recolor object to new color. For example, given this image, we want the user to say recolor the flower to green, red, purple, or orange. So how do we do this? First of all, we need a data set containing color information. To do that, we start from a set of tags and a set of colors. This could be coming from pre-processing a captions data set, or we can have predefined sets like a set of colors like blue, green, red, etc. Then for every color and tag pair, we combine them together and um, make a query in Google Images and um, download all the images. Here are some examples, green apple, pink backpack, and orange house, and white helmet as well. Then for every downloaded image, we apply object detection. So here we have like three different object detected, person, laptop, and helmet. And if it matches, the tag matches with the query tag, helmet in this case, then we apply mask uh, extraction uh, from the bonding box. And now we have the original image, a mask, a color, and a tag. And this way we can have a data set uh, with color. So now how we do the training? For training, we use adversarial learning. So we have a generator that takes the original image, a mask, and the target color and um, generates a new image. Now this new image and original image are passed to a pair discriminator that looks at both images at the same time. And um, the details of pair discriminator and also as well as our generator are in the paper. So uh, we also apply cycle loss. If we recolor the helmet to yellow and then recolor it back to white, we end up with the same image. So we can apply cycle consistency loss here. During test, we are given an image and a comment, recolor hat to purple. So first we apply object detection and find the object which corresponds to the tag hat. And then we extract mask from that bonding box. Now the original image, the mask and the target color are passed to the generator and with a fit forward pass, the desired image is generated. Experimental validation. So qualitatively, our method works very well, even on complicated things like this. For example, here we recolor the towel to various colors. And also we compared our method with three um, categories related to our work, colorization, recoloring, and image to image translation. This paper, um, user-guided image colorization, uses grayscale image and user input. Um, to adapt it to mask information, we select pixels within the mask. Also, primary color editing uses clustering. So we cluster only pixels within the mask. And image to image translation also used, can be used for recoloring if we consider each color as a separate domain. But um, we were not successful in training this um, on different color domains. And we assume that's because um, colors are very complicated as different domains. For example, we have red cars, red houses, red backpacks, and a lot of other objects could be in the same domain. So here, we qualitatively compare our method with um, uh, the benchmarks I described. You can see our method um, performs better than them. And also we quantitatively um, compare our method. We, we measure inception score and number of mismatched bonding boxes after recoloring. Please refer to our paper uh, for more details on this. You can see our method uh, again works better on uh, on these benchmarks um, in comparison with the ba ba uh, baselines I described. In conclusion, we proposed a novel method to fully automatically recolor an object within an image, and we built a data set uh, using off-the-shelf object detection and saliency mass detection, and we compared our method with state-of-the-art baselines, and more examples and ablation studies can be found in our paper, as well as more details about our, the network's architecture we used. Um, so finally, we thank everybody who helped us in this research, and thank you for listening.